To download and install an app from the Microsoft Store, first you'll need to locate the app that you wish to install. So let's say we want to download and install Skype. So clicking on that app tile, that will take us to that app's information page. And off to the left of that information page, you should see an install button. Tap or click on that button and Windows 8 will begin installing and downloading that app. And as you can see, it was very, very fast. Couldn't even finish my sentence before it was finished downloading and installing, and there it is. Now, if you have an app that is a little bit bigger to download and install, it might take a little bit more time, but you can continue working, doing something else, and that little notification will pop up over whatever it is you're working on to let you know that that app has finished downloading and installing. Once you have downloaded and installed an app, you can jump to the Start screen by clicking or tapping on that Start button. And scrolling all the way to the right, a tile will be placed on your Start screen for that app. Now that's by default. You can, of course, choose to remove this tile later on if you choose to. But to open that app, simply click or tap on that tile. Now some apps will have a series of screens that will ask you about permissions for that specific app. Skype, for example, will ask if you want to set up your webcam and microphone to allow that to be used. So we can choose allow or block. For right now I'm just going to choose allow. And it will also might ask you questions about whether or not you want to run that application in the background. So for the purposes of this demo, let's say we don't want to allow that to run in the background. Now, if it's an application like Skype that has an existing account, account associated with it apart from your Windows 8 device, you can choose whether or not you want to set up Skype using an already existing account or create a brand new account. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to choose the option I'm new to Skype. Now, I do want to point out that down below it says I'm signed in with Microsoft account tswin8training@live.com. Just keep that in mind. Now, if I click on the I'm new to Skype button, it will ask me about the reading and accepting of the terms of use, and we can inform me about new products, features, special offers by email or SMS. And again, all of this will be tied to that Microsoft email account. I'm going to leave these boxes unchecked for now. And then I'm going to say I agree to the terms and services to join Skype. And now I'm signed into Skype. That process, because I'm logged in with a Microsoft account, has created a brand new Skype account that is associated with that Microsoft account. So, I will be listed as Heather Ackman and this will be my email address for Skype. So that is kind of nice. You don't have to go through the process of figuring out a new username or typing in your name. All of that information is now linked to that Microsoft account. So one more advantage to signing into a Windows 8 device with that ever popular Microsoft account. And just to show you if I skip down to my account details, it will open up Internet Explorer. And you can see what information has been added to my profile from here. You can see my profile completeness is only set to 30%. If we click on that right there, that will jump to my profile and it doesn't automatically import my profile picture, that's fine, but it will have Skype name as live colon TSWIN8 training. And by default that Microsoft account will automatically be connected. Other information that it's already imported from my Microsoft account will be my first name and last name. My primary email address will be that live account, that email account. I can add phone numbers, I can add another email address, I can get a Skype number for example, but that's all it really kind of imports into that Skype profile. Your name, your email address, the primary one that's associated with that Microsoft account, and that's it. So that is downloading and installing an app from the Microsoft Store.